In this tutorial video, we're going to cover the steps involved with installing and accessing the BridgeMail system from your Salesforce account. The first thing you want to do is click Get It Now on our AppExchange listing. Once you've made it through the AppExchange form prompts, you'll come to the installation screen, and from there, you just need to follow on screen prompts to install the BridgeMail system application. When the installation is complete, go to your security controls so you can enter our IP address range. This will enable a persistent connection between the two applications and facilitate convenient synchronization as well as activity updates to your lead and contact records. After clicking on security controls, we just click Network Access. Then you click New. Makesbridge's IP addresses are displayed on your screen below. You enter Makesbridge Technologies IP addresses into the Start IP address and NPI address fields. When that process is complete, the next step is to log into your account at Makesbridge.com. Go to the Application Integration area and enter your Salesforce credentials. Click Save, then Test to make sure we got them OK. Now that a connection is made, you'll see the BridgeMail system application via the tabs that are installed in your account. And now it's time to bring our related list objects into view in your lead and contact pages. Our related list objects provide acute visibility into email campaign activity, hot list status, email click activity, and email list subscriptions. So let's bring the data into your lead and contact details. Now the very first thing you want to do when customizing your lead and contact layouts is to confirm that the email opt-out field is in view and its setting is not hidden for any user who will be using the BridgeMail system. Now let's take a look at how you verify the email opt-out field is not hidden. You go to Setup Administrative Setup, Security Controls, Field Accessibility, and then you want to make sure to check both Leads and Contacts. It rarely happens that the field, the email opt-out field is hidden, but you want to make sure that the field is editable, again, for both Leads and Contacts. After we have verified the email opt-out field is visible and editable for individuals who will be doing mass mailing, it's time to bring the related list items into view on the lead and contact detail pages. For the sake of time, we're just going to focus on the lead detail page. Now we customize the layout by clicking Setup, and then we click Customize under App Setup. We go to Leads and Page Layouts. And remember, you'll need to do this for both contact and leads. From there, we click Edit next to Lead Layout. And as you can see, you can customize the view by role type as well. Now from there, we simply drag the BMS related list items into the layout we're working on. Drag them in the order you like them to appear on the page. And once we brought in our related list items into view, it's time to specify BridgeMail system data that you want to see for each. And we do this by clicking on the wrench icon. And we'll walk you through each of the four related list items. For the BMS leads history, we want to know the campaign name. We like to know if the user opened the email. We like to know if they clicked the email click the link within the email and we can also see what different link IDs they clicked or different links they clicked within the email. In addition to that we can also see the date it was sent and we can also see if they decided to suppress themselves or unsubscribe. As you can see, we can bring all the different fields into view under that related list items for BMS lead history. 
And as we look at the other related list items, we're going to follow the same process of viewing them in the available fields and then adding them into the selected fields. When we're done, we just click OK. So let's take care of our remaining three related list items. The first is we have BMS Leads Hot List. So all we need to do is just drag in the field BMS Hot. Next, we're going to take care of BMS Lead Link IDs. And all we need to do is choose BMS Link ID. And that's going to show us all the different links a person has clicked on. And finally, we're going to take a look at BMS Lead Subscription. Now here, we're going to display the different email lists that the individual has been added to, and we'll also let you know what the subscription status is, as well as the individual suppressed status. Now after we are all done, we click OK, and then we can review again all the different related list items that we brought in to the lead and contact views. And this brings our installation demonstration to its conclusion. If you have a MakesBridge account and have further questions, contact your client services manager, chat with a support rep by clicking support in your account, or email support at makesbridge.com. We'll be happy to help you out and walk you through the process. Now, If you do not already have an active MakesBridge account, visit our trial signup page to submit a trial application and we'll welcome you aboard. Thanks again for watching this tutorial video.